It's time for Countdown to Camp with Eric Kelly and Parker Reed. The second half of the 2024 season for Baylor football will feature a trip out west to Lubbock for the third time since the series between Baylor and Texas Tech shifted back to home sites in a series that has been split evenly right down the middle since 2016, with both teams winning four games each during that stretch. It also features a matchup between two teams that are experiencing plenty of success on the recruiting trail as the Red Raiders boast the top-ranked freshman class in the New York Big 12 Conference, headlined by former Lake Belton Bronco Micah Hudson, who will be back and ready for the regular season after undergoing knee surgery in January. A couple of coaches have talked about generational player. Like he's really special. He's extremely athletic, but you know I, his maturity level and the love of football and and just the love of. Uh, the locker room. I, I haven't been around a lot of people like that. Also in line to be back for the 2024 season is quarterback Baron Morton after he missed much of spring practice with a shoulder injury as he is set to form a formidable backfield duo with running back Taj Brooks who is back for his senior season after a 1500 yard campaign that leaves him 1,167 yards away from breaking the school's career rushing record. But for Joey McGuire and his players, the real focus record-wise surrounds wins and losses as the Red Raiders look to build back up from what they call a disappointing 7-6 and six season in 2023. It says a lot that it's just not the coach that's frustrated with 7-6. Seven, seven and six. They, they know that we can be better, that we can win at a higher level, and so they're really helping us whenever it comes to the accountability of the team and leadership of the team. 